gonna do three, four. It's blocks. So we're gonna pour three fourths into our measuring cup. <laughs> oh, there it is. See, Jasmine G saves the day. Today, I will be teaching you step by step on how to bake these wonderful chocolate chip cookies. Perfect for Christmas season to give to your loved ones, your friends, whoever it is. Please keep watching this video and please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, all right? You are smiling? No way. Were you smiling? All right, please keep watching this video and let's get started. Our very first ingredient is butter. I usually use unsalted butter, and you are going to use half a cup. And then we're gonna melt it in the microwave for 45 seconds. All right, so we melted our butter, as you can see. So you wanna melt it so that it's very liquidy, very gooey, and you're gonna pour it into your Okay. Our next ingredients are going to be our sugar. I'm going to use organic sugar. I'm going to pour half a cup of organic sugar first. And then I'm going to pour one fourth of a cup of cane sugar. Okay. Bam. Alright. The reason why I'm sharing my recipe with specific brands and sugars is because I feel like when we use different brands, the taste can be different. What I like to use is Organics, Organic Light Brown Sugar. And I'm gonna do three. <laughs> it's blocks. It's blocks. Or measuring. <laughs> We're gonna pour it in, okay? It's usually a lot. <laughs> it's usually a lot. But anyway, all right. So once you pour the butter, the white sugar, and the brown sugar in, you're gonna mix it. Now, this is my very first time mixing it with a mixer. So if anything goes wrong, okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's not supposed to be like this, everyone. It's because we're in quarantine, right? So I'm not gonna go out and uh, buy more sugar. So I'm trying to use what I have at home. But trust the process. <laughs> trust the process, everyone. And it's going to be great. Our, our helper, <laughs> Jasmine G. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. The sugar is not expired. Why is the camera slanted? <laughs> Why is the camera slanted? <laughs> Perfect! Jasmine, we saved our lives. So, as you can see, we are mixing our sugar and butter to the point where it becomes, you know, like paste, gooey, okay? All right. Now, the next one is gonna be vanilla extract and one single egg. Vanilla extract, I use the Signature Select Pure Vanilla Extract and we're going to pour one full teaspoon into the bowl. One teaspoon. Now, if you want more taste to it, you know, I like to cheat my way through and just add a little more. And then we're going to add one whole egg into the bowl. Okay? Bam! Perfect. And then we are going to mix again. Bam, beautiful, beautiful. Ecto. Now, so we're gonna get one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I use, I use this salt. It's, I mean, my mom brought it, but I don't know where it's from. Having less salt, I think, 
is recommended, but I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to add baking soda. I'm gonna do one whole teaspoon of baking soda. I use the Arm and Hammer Pure Baking Soda for my cookies. One whole teaspoon. Now, before I put the flour in, I'm going to actually mix it first. Okay? Mix it, mix it, mix it. Bam, so it's all mixed in, okay? And then the flour is the trickiest part, okay? So usually you're supposed to just put two whole cups in, but if it's a lot like gooier, then here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna first add one cup. So you wanna go a little at a time because if you put too much, it gets hard to mix. So I'm gonna put one whole cup first, just like so, okay? I'm gonna mix it. Okay, mix, 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 mix. Now after you mix it, that you wanna kinda of touch it. And if, it's, if it sticks to your hands and you can't drop it, then you know it's too little, okay? So I'm gonna add one, one whole cup more. So, bam. And then we're gonna mix it. You gotta trust the process because you might not think it looks good, but the end result is bomb. Oh, flowers going out. going out of the holes. You know what? I'm actually gonna mix with the spoon, okay? Be right back. I'm going to check again to see if it's gooey. Okay, we're almost there, so it does come out, but it's still too, a little too gooey to continue. So I'm gonna add a little more flour, okay? I'm gonna add maybe half a cup, put it in the bowl, and continue mixing. <laughs> As you can tell, I am not a professional baker, nor am I a professional cook, I just, like food. So, but the end result is gonna be good, okay? I always made cookies in quarantine. While we were in quarantine, I had delivered some to my friends or whoever it was, and they always said it was so good. What is your recipe? And so I am sharing this with you guys. I'm hoping that you guys can make it too. I'm just gonna use my bare hands. I wash them again in order to mix it. So what I'm what I usually do is I just mix it like this so that everything inside becomes very mixed in. And then I like to utilize the spoon as well, okay? I wash my hands, everyone, don't worry. You can see it's become very doughy. You wanna make it to, to the point where even if you touch it, it doesn't stick to your hands. Now that we have our dough like this, okay? We are ready to put our last step in, which is our chocolate chip cookies. Yahoo! Okay, so I use the uh, the cute <laughs> the Ghirardelli Ghirardelli premium baking milk chocolate chips. I'm gonna put one whole cup in, but honestly, you can just put as much as you want in. Okay, I might put more than this. Okay. So don't worry, I have a second bag. I'm gonna put this in, bam. Then our wonderful helper, my brother David Kim, is gonna come in and help, okay? So come on in. This is my brother David Kim. He just finished school. Um, and he's helping me. I'm gonna put another, say, three fourth cup of chocolate chip in, bam. So. People usually like to, what is that called? Preheat the oven um, before they start doing everything. But I like to do it while I put the chocolate chip in so that it's like ready to go right after we're done, okay? So we're gonna preheat the oven as he's mixing to 375 degrees in the oven. Celsius. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, 375 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so this is my 
my housemate Jasmine G. Hello. Hello. That is my brother David Kim, as he was mixing earlier. So, this is parchment paper that we're gonna use on top of it. People usually sometimes like to do the the oil baking, spray. yeah, the oil spray, but we're gonna use parchment paper. I'm gonna cut it, try to cut it successfully. There it is. See, Jasmine G saves the day. We're gonna use our hands and make it into balls, and then put it onto the pan. We're gonna put it in the oven for nine to 11 minutes. All right, so now that it's done and our oven is at 375 degrees, we are going to place them in the oven like so. are baking I also like to get these racks out and just place them on the table and so once the cookies are done right after we're just gonna place each cookie onto these racks so they can cool for about 10 minutes okay finally done after 10 minutes I actually added one to two more minutes but I took it out as soon as I thought it was ready so as you can see these are ready to go so after i put these on the rack i'm gonna cool it for seven to ten ish minutes and then i'm gonna bring in two special people and have a taste test and they're pretty honest so you'll see if it's good or not all right everyone so our cookies are finally cooled down now and we're gonna have a taste test okay with my brother David Kim and my housemate and friend Jasmine G and we have best a, friend and, <laughs> and we have our little doggy but she can't eat it because chocolate. obviously chocolate okay so I'm gonna pick and choose which one to give them so Jasmine I'm gonna give you this one okay. David I'm gonna give you this one all right and I'm gonna use this one okay so we're gonna cheers cheers bam <laughs> and you guys try it let's try it mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I'm good. Mmm. Mm. No, no, for real. It's pretty good, right? Okay. So out of 10, what would you rate it? I would give it a 10 out of 10. Mmm. No, be honest, for real. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Mm. 10.5 out of 10. Oh, oh 10.5 out of 10. All right. I will give this, out of all the cookies I've made though, actually, it's pretty good. Mm. It's very like soft on the inside and like near the end, it's like chewy. Mm. It's because it just came out of the oven, so mm. it's better. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to cool it for like a little and then try it. So good. It's like warm mm. and nice. All right, so that is the end of my chocolate chip cookie recipe video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, say like, like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye bye. bye.